Welcome to my channel. Today I will explain how to make rosemary shampoo. At first we should understand what are the rosemary shampoo benefits. It cleans your hair from dust, excess oil and it cleans your scalp from dead skin. Hair moisturization. It leaves your hair soft and moisturized. Hair detangling. It helps in hair loss treatment and it improves scalp blood circulation. Rosemary hair shampoo formula. You need 327 grams of distilled water, 180 grams of rosemary hydrosol, 180 grams of decal glucoside, 90 grams of coco amidopropyl betaine, 27 grams of glycerin, 4, 4 and a half grams of guar gum, 22 grams of sweet almond oil, 10 grams of jujuba oil, 4 grams of rosemary oil, 45 grams of BTMS 25, 9 grams of cetyl alcohol, 9 grams of pantenol, 9 grams of hydrolyzed wheat protein, 9 grams of preservative, and 9 grams of vitamin E. Rosemary hair shampoo DIY instructions. At first, you should wash and sanitize all tools, working surface, and shampoo bottles. You should wear gloves, surgical mask, and cover your hair. Measure out all your ingredients. In a clean, dry, heat-resistant sanitized beaker, you should put all the water phase ingredients. It includes distilled water, rosemary hydrosol, decal glucoside, Cocoa amido propyl betaine, glycerin, and the guar gum. But you should understand that before adding glycerin and the guar gum to the water phase, you should mix them in a separate smooth picker until they evenly disperse. Then add the guar gum and glycerin to the water phase. Mix them well and put all the water phase ingredients in a heat-resistant beaker. Then in another heat-resistant clean sanitized beaker, you should put all the oil phase ingredients, which includes sweet almond oil, jujuba oil, rosemary oil, BTMS 25, and cetyl alcohol. Then put the two beakers on a double boiler using a low heat. Once the oil and water phases have completely melted, Pour the oil phase into the water phase and mix well until combined and all the shampoo ingredients combined and shampoo become thicker. Let the shampoo to cool down and rotally whisk it to ensure a stable emulsion. Now you should prepare your cool down ingredients. They include D-pantenol, hydrolyzed wheat protein, preservative and vitamin E. You should pour each ingredient into your shampoo and whisk thoroughly to ensure they are evenly distributed. Now your product is ready. To check the pH, the shampoo pH should be between 5 to 6. And if you need to adjust your pH, adjust it. Now your product is ready to be stored. You should store your rosemary shampoo in a dark colored airless pump or squeezed bottle. Congratulations, your product is ready to use and to sell. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the video and you find the formula is beneficial for you. Goodbye for now and have a nice day.